Mozart once said that the organ is the king of instruments. What is this magnificent instrument and how has it become inextricably and irretrievably woven into the fabric of our civilization? The first organ was, is reported as having first appeared in ancient Greece around 250 BC. If I get this name correctly, it's called the, the, uh, the ha hydraulikos, or the hydraulic. The wind pressure on this organ was regulated by water, actually. So in effect, it was a water instrument. One of its chief advantages is that it was used at public outdoor gatherings because it, of its loud and penetrating sound. It could be easily heard above the din and cacophony of large public gatherings. Around the seventh century AD, approximately a thousand years later, uh, a new type of organ emerged, which was uh, who, whose regulated or wind pressure was regulated by a bellows as opposed to water. And the organ has become basically formally, uh, formally associated with the church uh, by about the 10th century AD. So, how does an organ work? Simply stated, it's a wind instrument. The pipe organ basically is just a big box of whistles. Each pipe sits on top of a hollow wind chest that is filled with compressed air provided by bellows in, beginning since the seventh century, as we talked about, but in the modern era by a fan or a blower powered by an electric motor. Now the organ is divided into stops. So on this, these stops will be found on the console and they represent a set of pipes, which we would call a rank of a particular tone color. With a different pipe now for every note on the keyboard. So when you pull that stop, it activates a slider under a specific set of pipes in the wind chest and makes them available as a sound source. The wind chest also contains a number of, or a series of valves, or we would call pallets, connected to the keyboards by a mechanical linkage. These pallets govern the flow of air to each pipe, and even though a stop may be on, no pipe will sound until the key on the board is depressed and then the respective pallet opens and then sound it emerges. So this allows the compressed air then literally to pass up the pipe to create the note and the sound. Okay. So we have here then, um, how do we put this? The, um, each pipe is of, of an organ is custom made for the buyer. And in every case, a number of variables need to be addressed when you uh, purchase an organ. Considerations for each new instrument might involve the number and types of sounds included, the size of the room in which the organ will be heard, and also the overall physical look of the instrument, based according uh, to, based entirely actually upon the budget that the organization has available. St. George's pipe organ was built in 1973 by Casavant Frere in Quebec, and it, we, they call it or identify it as Opus 3175. It was originally designed to have a tracker action, but it was altered later to have, to, and it was installed with the, what, the more modern electro-pneumatic action. And most pipe organs today are. Tracker organs, which means that the, the, the keyboard is mechanically connected, um, are still being built today, but the, the, a large majority of instruments are actually electro-pneumatic action. Now these changes at St. George's were made because we had to make structural, um, there are structural impediments in the roof, so we had to accommodate uh, the, 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 the construct, design and construction of the organ to suit. In 2015, the organ was dismantled and cleaned and tuned. The metal screens in front of the pipes were removed and a new oboe stop was installed. So we have now more than 1,500 pipes in this organ. And this work greatly enhanced uh, the range of tonal color and the volume of the organ. Okay. So we have actually here on this uh, organ uh, two manuals, the great, what is called the great and the swell, and we also have a, a pedal board as well. The great is the lower manual, 
The swell is the upper manual. console at the feet of the organist um, is the pedal board. It's, obvious, it's, pay, it's played by the feet and it's used to provide, in most instances, the bass line of the music. <laughs> Represent then there are many. There, these represent different organ uh, tones of the instrument. Now we have the principal, which is sort of the typical foundation organ for color and so on. And it's called the principal. It's the eight foot. We have the flute as the rohrflot at eight feet, and the reed, such as the fagot or bassoon, and that's a six, sixteen foot. And we have the trumpet at the eight foot as well. A particular color then is determined by the shape, the construction, and the proportion of the pipe. They speak in different octave ranges, designated by, the, uh, designated by Arabic numerals. So the eight foot indicates what we call the normal pitch. The four foot means the whole rank speaks at an octave lower, sorry, an octave higher, I beg your pardon. The two foot, yet again, speaks uh, an octave higher than that. The 16 foot, which then is, is the octave lower than the principal pitch. And we also have something called a 32 foot bombard, which would be then two octaves lower than normal pitch. So then based on this structure, the organist then can create textures, layers of sound for a much richer um, texture, tonal quality, tonal color, and as well as, as rapidly switching then between sounds. And this is available now, the, the complexity of the instrument then is indicated by this entire structure is available for each and every single key on the keyboard of the organ. Mm -hmm. 